welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and with the home I built, Norwich Castle, finally back in King Robert's control, we can start our plans for the next war against Norway. But guys, first, hopefully Prince Richard, through some diplomacy, can end this conflict with his great-grandfather, King Henry, and bring peace back to our family. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy thrones. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready to play some 1257 AD. So it looks like the Manor of London is really coming along nicely, guys. The walls are fully built and uh, let's run inside really quickly and check it out. I, I really need this, this manor to start producing a good deal of tribute for me because it's going to be the bulk of my income so I can support my personal armies to expand my conquest of the kingdom um, but guys yeah this is looking pretty good pretty good indeed um, but uh, let's get out of here and um, we're going to walk around the center really quickly and we're going to see if uh, how much tribute storage is actually in there let's, let's go in and, and talk to my good men uh, there's my seneschal and uh, here's my warehouse master yes yes uh, let's check to see what the tribute is. Pretty good. I think we're looking nice. Let me change out my gear while I'm here as well. Um, oh, yeah. Let's get all these tools. I'm going to sell the tools and the oil first. Very good. Oh, yep. Tons of oil. So this this is coming along nicely. And uh, I think we're in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And, guys, we have a lot of things to do. We need to prepare with this war against Norway because now that my son has taken care of the war against England and we're done uh, we just need to wait for his return and then guys we're gonna try to recruit a bunch more knights we're gonna sell a bunch more goods so we can make some more money and uh, guys we got a long road ahead of us because we got to capture York and we got to capture man uh, so let me go ahead and get out of here right now and uh, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna head over back to uh, Carnivan and uh, I'm going to drop off a good deal of men. And also, I'm going to try to sell some goods in Chester along the way. And then uh, when my son returns, guys, we're going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. So we're going to start recruiting some more knights. Um, and first of all, you got to go here, recruit volunteers. And let's see, Welsh servants. I guess because we're in Wales, this is a bit different. But um, the way to get the knights is to basically go to the castle. So let's, let's go to Pembroke Castle. In the towns, oh, there's there's my son, the prince. Um, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, welcome back, and he was more than willing to end the war, so you must have done a great job. So I'm going to move you back to the top, and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to recruit some more knights. So which, what we're going to get is some mountain, mounted sergeants. Oh, I, there's no one there to recruit. Hmm, let's try over here. Because if you go to the towns, you get more footmen. Yeah, you see, just footmen. And they do not upgrade into into knights or, or mounted troops. But the castles are where you get the knights, or the mounted sergeants at least. Ah, here we go. Ah, 12. Yeah. I'll recruit them all for 900 dinars. That's a great deal. Let's go to Lou's castle now. It feels really good to have peace. To have peace in the kingdoms. Dover? Anybody in Dover? Oh, man. Can't catch a break. How about Claire? Let's go to Claire. Still can't enter London, guys. Still can't enter London. We need to get... Oh, here we go. I'll take those men. Let's go to Norwich Castle. Oh, yeah. How many... Nine. I will take them. I will take them. And this leads me to something else. This leads me to something else. Let's see. Guys, we're going to head into the castle. And, um... I'm going to give a special gift to one of my companions. So once we get in there, I'm going to cut right back. It was always my hope. When Earl Robert was laying the bricks of Norwich Castle right here in this very spot, that one day he'd be able to pass it down to his son, his ancestral home. And here it is, guys. We are in this position right now where my son has proved his worthiness and my dear boy, you now have 
this wonderful castle of Norwich. Now I know it I know I know it doesn't look like much right now, but one day, one day you will have much more if you prove yourself worthy. But this is such an important holding. This is the first line of defense for our new kingdom. When people come at London, they come at Norwich first. And uh, my dear son, Knight of the Kingdom, Prince of Northern England, this is now your new holding. So may, may you treat it well. May you do it well. May you garrison it well. And um, I thank you, good sir, for all your service. So guys, we're going to get out of here and then we're going to continue on with the next order of business. Now there's one last thing to do to make sure this is official. Let's talk to Prince Richard. I'd like to ask you something. Of course. Now I'm going to give you the castle first. Then when I head back up to Stirling, the capital, I'm going to go ahead and give you the village as well, which will give you the manor and you will be fully set. You'll have a financial base where you can build your own army. So congratulations, my son. You have earned this castle, this village. And uh, if you do well, there's more to come. Well, it's official. My son, Prince Richard, has Norwich Castle, Norwich Village. He also has the banner. And uh, his banner has been marked with a label of three points to signify the first son who shares his father's coat of arms. And also he's got the crowns to signify that he is royalty. Just to make sure that everyone, enemy and friend on the battlefield, knows that is the heir to the throne. And uh, let's check our notes, guys. Look at factions, Kingdom of Northern England. And there he is, Sir Richard, Prince of England. And there is his, there's his banner. That is awesome. I love that. That is perfect. And there he is, Norwich Castle. And Norwich, and you're renowned, my good sir. You need to increase that. But uh, guys, we've got a lot to do. We have to plan for this war against Norway. And part of that is recruiting some more men. And uh, also, I want to check out the garrisons of York, and I want to check out the defenses of York. So we're going to head that way and look at it. And, and I believe if I look at the notes also, guys, if I find Norway, I don't believe they're at war with anyone. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. The Kingdom of Northern... Oh, okay. Ah, they provoked us. I They sense a war coming. It's at... Okay, okay, and it's still at war with the Ilkhanate. Hmm, I wonder what I should do is ask one of these uh, lords from Norway if I can find one to see if I, c I can find out if some of their lords are way over here in some Ilkhanate territories, see if they're fighting. If they're far away, that may be perfect. If they're out on a crusade, they may be taken unawares and they may not have a huge army to defend it let's go into york I'll tell you what i'm gonna go into the tavern talk to the madam of the tavern with the spirits of my men and uh, we're gonna wait here for some time um i'm gonna wait till the morning because i want to actually walk around and check out the defenses check out the castle itself so let's hmm, let's see if we can walk around the outside of york will they let me do that can i can i leave york if i'm inside of it ah perfect hmm I don't know if this is going to give me a good idea of how... Yeah, maybe... Wow, if this is the case... Oh my goodness, guys. If this is the case... If there's a drawbridge and a moat... This could be something else indeed. Are all my men going to have to come across this bridge? With archer fire? On those walls? Are they going to lift the drawbridge? How do we get in? Hmm... There's an inner wall as well. Are they going to be able to defend that inner wall? Oh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But York is quite a prize indeed. We need to get York. Well, let's check this out. Because they're going to defend it from in here. I see. I see. Up here. Along this way. Right. Right. Is there... A gatehouse inside here? There is a gatehouse, but I'm not sure if it... Well, it doesn't look like it works. Hmm. Wow. This is going to be something else. This is going to be a mighty siege when it gets started. 
All right, let's let's get out of here, guys. We've got other things to do. I also believe I've sold all my goods. Um, I think Chester had a good deal of good deal of dinar, so we're good there. And I don't want to recruit any any footmen. They're just a waste of time. Um, so let's see. Let's head to Bamberg Castle. Let's see if we can get some knights here. Nope, doesn't appear that way. Edinburgh. Oh, beautiful. Okay, also, let's see if we can head to Man. And while we're past Lancaster, let's pick up some, some more knights. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow, we're really recruiting some knights here. Okay, let's check out Man. And see how it looks. Let's take a around. Oh, yeah, walk around the courtyard. Okay, it is rainy here in Man. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to wait here till the next morning. See if the weather clears up. Have the sun shining bright so we can see everything. Let me take a sip of my tasty beverage, guys. Mm. The king is in a particularly good mood today because everything has been going right. Everything has been going right. My son in ended that war fairly quickly. Was able to sp speak to his great grandfather. They must have exchanged some wise words to end this war so quickly. Wow, look at this. Oh, this does not look good. I think we'll come in over here. I think I see my sh my ship this way. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. I believe that's is the gate. Uh, where is the gate? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. What is a 313? Yep. That is going to be something else. That is going to be an interesting siege indeed. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep recruiting some more men. Keep going around. And um, once I find uh, a lord from Norway, I'm going to request uh, to see if he knows... Yeah, I'll get some servants. Why not? I'm going to quest to see if he knows the location of some other lords from Norway. And maybe we can kind of gauge where their forces are. Particularly if we can find out where the king is. So guys, once I, once I find one of those lords, I'll cut right back. Let's have a conversation, my dear man. Um, I wish to ask you something. Do you know the location of... Well, let's see. We can, let's start with him. Okay. How about here? Hmm, it looks like they're all... It looks like all of them... We yeah, are pretty much in their territories. So I'm pretty certain, yeah, I'm pretty certain that if we were to go to war with them now... Okay, well there's one guy being held captive. Um... Yeah, if we go to war with these guys right now, I believe they would they would get here fairly quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's he doesn't like me. We had one conversation and we have a negative relationship. Well, I will see you soon, good sir. I will see you soon. Okay, guys, I'm going to keep traveling around, try to recruit some more men, and then uh, once I get a better gauge of the situation and... Um, when we can go to war with Norway, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Back at the Manor of Sterling, thought I would do a little bit of trading while I'm here as well. Let's see what we have. Oh, some more tools. Some more oil. I'll go ahead and pick up the rest of this. It's definitely a shared storage between this one and London. But um, I still think they produce, they produce double what they would if it was just one man. It's just one shared storage. Thank you, good sir. Let's get out of here. Um, let's see if we could head to Sterling. See if they have any money on the marketplace here. You've got, you've got a little bit. You've got a little bit. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this stuff. Get some decent prices here. Oh, I already went over it. Not watching what I'm doing. 
Hmm, we can get rid of a little bit of this stuff, right? Ah, no big money here. Nickel and diamond me. That'll work. I've also picked up a good deal of men, and I am continually to continually upgrading them. Um, I shouldn't have any. I just have one senior knight that just got newly trained from a lesser knight. I think I picked up somewhere around 50, uh, 50 men at arms or fifty surgeons that uh, I have been upgrading slowly. Look here yeah, now. Yeah, I think you you get mounted sergeants and you upgrade them to men at arms. So we have over fifty men at arms now that hopefully will turn into some uh, some lesser knights very soon so I think I've recruited pretty much all the men all the knights I could in my kingdom I think what I'll do is head over to the island of Ireland see if I can recruit some of those mounted troops over there because we're gonna need all the men we can get and then maybe in Dungannon and Dublin I can do some trading as well so let's see if we can do that uh, let's go to Dublin first see if we can sell some of these goods then we'll head to uh, Weckford Castle um, Mm, and I definitely don't want any footmen. I don't think so. So goods merchant. Oh, you've got a little bit. A little bit of money. You can unload a bit of this stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is perfect. Do I have anything else? Nope. Okay, good. So let's see what we can recruit here. Oh, look at all my, look at all my lords just protecting their lands. Lord Valsilco, Lord War Ram. Oh, and there's Lancia. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see. Recruit some volunteers. Oh, great. I can get normal mounted sergeants here. That's fantastic. So this is going to be great, guys. I'm going to go and pick up as many troops as I possibly can. And um, when I do that, guys, we're going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. It appears in some of these lands I get Gaelic Shield Bearers. Now... I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that these lands have been Gaelic territories longer than these lands. Uh, they were English-owned territories for quite some time. So I wonder if they change over. I know some mods, they do that. They change over over time um, to whatever factions had them for the longest. So hmm, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, it seems like the war with Norway is not going to happen right now. They are they are pretty strong right now. They're pretty strong. I want to take a good look at them uh, before we end this episode and just make sure we know what we're getting ourselves into. I mean, it's going to happen, guys. We're going to have to. We're going to have to do it. But if you look at Norway... Let's say they have one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 vassals. That's not so bad. I thought they had more than that. Now, if you look at our kingdom, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have 20 vassals right now. 20 vassals. Hmm. That is that is quite interesting, and I believe our kingdom, frankly, is bigger than theirs. If I back out, yeah, I don't think is it dark blue them. You see, that's Sweden. Ah, it's so close in color. I think they're the kind of the lilac and the darker blue. You see the difference? Oh, I don't think I can. That's definitely Norway. I think that, yeah, that, that, that deeper blue, here we go. This is that deeper blue. This is Sweden. This is Sweden. Yeah, this is all Sweden on this side. Okay, so basically this is like this dividing line. So they're not that powerful. I mean, they only have this sparse territory in here, really. It kind of ends, ends along here, right? Oh, yeah, we, we could take Norway. We, we could definitely take Norway. 
And oh, it would be nice to finally have all these territories except for this green here that we're going to have to take care of. Believe me, guys, before the end of this season. But it would be nice to have this this land locked up and finally once and for all I can head into London and get my coronation but I can't do it when we have foreigners on our land on our soil so guys I, th I think we have a plan of action I think that's what we're gonna do I think on the next episode guys we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna threaten war against Norway and then uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna come up here I, I wonder if we can grab York before I think so. I think we're going to go to war with them. Call up the banners. We're going to hit up York. Capture York. And like I said before on a previous episode, guys, we're going to go up here. And we're going to stop them outside of Sterling and hopefully have an epic battle that way. Guys, I think that is definitely what we're going to have to do. My goodness, guys. It is cold. It is rainy out there. The king just wants to get by a fire. And uh, pretty soon, guys, he's going to have this castle again. But, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time on this episode. My son now has a castle of his own, a banner of his own. He's out there recruiting men to his cause. And he will one day rule this kingdom that I have built for him. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out so much. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, guys, you need to go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Guys, on the next episode, we will go to war with Norway once and for all. And we're going to try to take York back. Again, I want to thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time on 1257 AD.